Hey, I want to talk to you about subcontractors one more time and why subcontractors is just a different way to pay. So sometimes, occasionally, we get clients or customers or potential clients who, who hear the word subcontractor, and we use both. We have employees and we have subcontractors, and there's a good reason why. I can explain that in another video, but um, as soon as they hear the word subcontractor, there's no way I don't want to use subcontractors. I can't do that. And now, listen, I don't know where they've got that misnomer um, because every day in your life you're dealing with subcontractors. If you have packages coming from, from Amazon or from the Postal Service, there are certainly subcontractors involved. If you use the electric company, uh, well, everybody uses electric usually, so uh, definitely subcontractors. If, if something happens, a wire breaks, there's subcontractors coming out. There's just not enough employees out there to to man or woman every company it's just not going to happen the other end of that is with employees sometimes who are paid hourly in an eight hour day you just better get used to that maybe you're getting five hours maybe six hours of production out of them when you're using a subcontractor who's getting paid based off of their production and quality, they are certainly working harder. That's not a knock on other employees. I know many painting companies and other service industries who only use employees. For us, it has worked out so much better. It's easier to manage the jobs, and then we go from there. Now, everybody right now is dealing with a labor shortage. Some people don't want to go back to work. Also, they're getting uh, unemployment plus they were getting a bigger boost on unemployment. So they were actually making more money on unemployment in some cases than working. So uh, most people who have the opportunity to work or be on unemployment are gonna choose working and that's, that's what I would like to believe. But in every service industry, especially the painting industry right now, people are struggling, companies are struggling to get painters. This is where subcontractors come in. They have to work. That is their business. So why do we use subcontractors or why do other painting companies use subcontractors is, well, maybe that subcontractor doesn't want to deal with all the business stuff. They don't want to do the estimates. They don't want to deal with the customers and, and warranty issues and all that other stuff that comes down the line or, or deal with paperwork or anything like that. We take care of all that. We take care of the estimate. We take care of sales. We take care of the marketing. We take care of everything other than painting. They do the job and they are good at doing the job. That's why we've invested time in finding them. Of course, we're always looking for more. Some come, some go. They run around to different companies. Some are good, some are bad, some are horrible, and some are really good. So it's our job to find those people and weed through them. But what you can be assured of is even if somebody came out to your house and the, the quality wasn't good, we catch that right away, they're gone, and we make the job happen. We will take care of your job no matter what. Our team is put in place for a reason. They all care so much. Sometimes they care more than I care, and it's my company. They put their heart and soul into everything. So the word subcontractor, it's not a bad word. It's not the F word. Um, or some other words. It's just a different way that we pay them. Subcontractors get a 1099, employees get taxed, and, and they pay their taxes at the end of the year. All right, so subcontractors, it's not the F word.